Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So you can probably already tell from the title, today's video is a review on the brand new Too Faced birthday collection. And um, this one is obviously Too Faced's latest release. And um, it's basically a collection that they've released in celebration of turning 20 years old. It's still crazy. Um, in my mind, entering, you know, the makeup industry and stuff, like I didn't, I never realized that Too Faced was actually 20 years old. Like that's insane. So this collection does involve a massive, massive, massive eyeshadow palette. It's huge, just you wait till you see it. Uh, 10 metallic sparkle lipsticks. These look really cool. Apparently they're like a really comfortable wearable type formula and then a limited edition um, Better Than Sex mascara. Um, I'm pretty sure the formula is still the same. It's just like limited edition sparkly packaging. But just what we're gonna do here today is swatch all of the products live on camera. We're gonna create a full uh, eyeshadow look using um, the eyeshadow palette, see how they blend. I'm also gonna do like live swatches, everything like I always do. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you guys know whether or not I think any of these products are actually worth your time and money. So if you were interested, look at this box, whoa. Um, if you were interested in my thoughts and swatches and stuff on the brand new Too Faced birthday collection, then please keep on watching. So let's start off with this eyeshadow palette. I am not lying when I say she is a whopper. This thing is massive. Look at it in comparison to the size of my head. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna grab some other palettes so you can see a comparison. So this is the standard Too Faced palette size. Um, this is sort of, you know, the component that they normally come in. This is the new one. Look at the difference. It is actually huge. Now this palette is actually a limited edition, so if you are wanting it, you'll have to pick it up uh, sooner rather than later. I think that this is a really cool concept. So it's called Then and Now Eyeshadow Palette because it features 10 eyeshadows from when the brand originally launched uh, back in, was it 1998? 1998, I was eight years old. <laughs> so yeah, the 10 original eyeshadows that they launched back then, and then an additional 10 new shades that are inspired by the originals, but have like a modern twist. Oh my gosh, apparently it smells like birthday cake. What? I'm just reading the info off the back of this thing, by the way. Um, 20 pearl matte and glitter shades, creamy buttery texture, modern mix of browns, purples, blues, and greens. So this is what the front of the palette looks like. It's really pretty packaging with like glitter and things like that. And then on the back of the palette, um, you can sort of see like the shades and shade names and stuff like that. Information about the palette. Um, now each of these palettes are one gram each. Oh no, wait, these top ones, these top smaller original shades are one gram each for a total of 10 grams. And then these bottom ones are 12 grams. No, 12.5 grams. Gosh, I keep lying today. <laughs> the originals reinvented. So the original shades have got a modern formula. I just, I need to smell this. Apparently it smells like birthday cake. Birthday cake protein powder. Literally one of the best things ever invented. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh. So hopefully you guys can see this. It's really funky and cool. So it's got pink glitter and then that's sort of offset by this gold metallic trim on the edge. Let's open her up. Whoa. Okay, so there's a massive mirror at the back there and it says celebrating 20 years of being fabulous. I think we should celebrate 27 years of being fabulous. Nearly 28, my birthday's coming up guys, in a month. <laughs> and then you've got the 10 original shadows across the top there. Gosh, they're beautiful colors. And then the 10 um, newies along the bottom. Hopefully you can see the colors close up. There's definitely a mixture of purples, browns, blues. Some of them look like pressed glitters, so I'm super excited to have a look at them. Really cool concept. And I just love it that it's got like the 10 originals and 10 new ones. Like that's something different that no one else has ever done. I don't believe, call me on it if it's wrong. Give it to me in the comments if I'm wrong guys, I don't mind. Um, but I think it's a cool idea. Okay, going in with this, you know what? This kind of looks similar to the chocolate gold. Uh, yeah, similar-ish. All right, chocolate gold, whoa, versus new one. I mean, this one's obviously got more blues and purples and things, but there are definitely some similar looking colors um, between the two. Oh dear, I'm already gouging my nails into it. I'm so bad with doing that. Smell test. Let's do it. It actually smells like vanilla frosting. Oh my gosh, that's so yum. I'm just obsessed with the smell of Too Faced products. Oh, they're so good. Oh, and I definitely dunked my nose in the brown eyeshadow while I was smelling it. Idiot. So yes, this is the palette. So um, I'm gonna do swatches of all the shades of this, obviously, and then we'll do a full eye look. But let's have a quick look at the lipsticks. So these are the metallic sparkle lipsticks that are part of the collection. There are 10 shades. I do have all 10 shades, so we will be swatching all 10 shades of these as well. Packaging of these is really cute. Now, 
What is the backstory? So in 1998, Too Faced started with, ah, eight original metallic lipsticks. So for the 20th birthday, um, they've reimagined the original shades with a 2018 twist and a creamy, comfortable formula. Multi-reflective glitter finish for high pigment payoff. Smells like birthday cake as well. What? So let's have a look at this one. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So the boxes of these are covered in glitter. Um, obviously the glitter matches the shade inside. You've got the shade name at the top. And then this is the packaging of these new lipsticks. The entire thing is covered in glitter it's so cool you got a little sticker on the bottom with the lipstick shade oh my gosh look at this gold and then um, obviously the lipstick in there it's a bullet lipstick they do smell pretty good let's quickly swatch this one. Ah, oh, it is a really nice wearable formula that's actually really pretty okay cool so there's 10 shades of these um pinks reds neutrals there's definitely a purple i'm excited to try so yeah, we're going to actually be swatching um all like i'll obviously show you swatches of all of these shades and then lastly in this collection you do get the um it's called better than birthday sex and this is their 20th birthday edition of their better than sex mascara you guys know already unfortunately this mascara doesn't work on me um it is actually america's best prestige mascara like best selling which kind of blows my mind because it just smudges everywhere on me but obviously there's a whole horde of people out there that really love it um and i'm I'm pretty sure this one is like custom birthday packaging. Hang on, let me get this thing open. It's hard to open. Oh, the packaging of this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I would display it for how beautiful it looks, even though I can't personally use it. Look how pretty it is. So it's the usual Better Than Sex mascara tube, and then it's covered in like silver glitter. It's so pretty, and hopefully the camera is actually picking it up. Now the formula is exactly the same. So obviously if you're a big fan of the original um, and you're out or you want to get a backup, um, you can get this one for a limited time um, with the sparkly packaging. So yes, that is an overview of the whole collection, guys. I'm going to jump into doing the swatches now. So first we'll do... Um, the eyeshadow palette, then we'll create the eyeshadow look and test out the formula on my eyes. And then we'll come back and we'll swatch all of the lipsticks and test the formula on my lips. So yes, if you are interested in seeing all of that, then please hang around. So here's another little look at the packaging. Gorgeous glitter on the outside and this beautiful metallic gold on the inside. And here is another look at all of the shades. Moving into the swatches, we're going to do the top row first. So first up in this top row, we've got like this sort of shimmering gold. Then after that, we have like a, it's like a silvery, but it's got a gold undertone, then a really pretty purpley brown. Then we have another brown, which is more sort of warm based, then a shimmering lilac with a bit of a reflect. Beautiful maroony shimmer kind of color, uh, a purple, and then we've got a blue. Don't mind those marks on my arm. I fell over at the snow, okay? <laughs> shimmering blue, shimmering light, sort of pastely pinky, oh, not pinky, purpley blue, a black with glitter. I really wanted you guys to be able to see there's actually shimmering um, silver reflex of glitter, and then this amazing metallic foil silver. I love, 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 love that one. So, yep, yeah, that is the top row. Moving on to the second row. So these are the brand new colors. So gorgeous, gorgeous, bright, vibrant gold. An amazing, amazing green. I absolutely love this forest green. Really, really pretty shimmering sort of taupe kind of color. Um, this one you can kind of only just see. This is like a really light, pale kind of brown color, but you can't see it because of my skin. An amazing um, sparkling sort of shimmering pink. Beautiful kind of plum. This one is a matte there. And then next to that, another matte, which is sort of like a lighter purple color. This amazing deep purple with lots and lots of shimmer. And then this insane blue. Look at the pigmentation of these. Like you cannot deny the like, oh, the colors are just gorgeous. And then this matte black, which wasn't that easy to swatch. And then this last one you can hardly see, but it's kind of like a champagne sort of highlight kind of color. But yes, those are all of the shades. All right, guys, so those were all of the swatches. I'm pretty damn impressed with um, some of the shades in this palette. Um, and I will say it again, as I do say it in all of my other videos, do not judge an eyeshadow based on a finger swatch. It might finger swatch terribly. It might finger swatch amazingly. Um, but the formulas aren't created for the purpose of finger swatches and for wearing on your arm. Formulas are created um, for use on your eyes. And it's how they perform on the eyes that actually counts. Now, definitely, I've got a few favorite shades in this. Um, most of the bottom, like the bottom row were my favorites, except for this silver in the top row that was absolutely insane and also ice queen next to it but this gold this green this brown this purple particularly absolutely crazy this blue these mattes are incredibly buttery like i can't even begin to tell you how soft and smooth these actually feel so yeah safe to say i'm pretty excited about diving into some of these so let's start creating an eyeshadow look i've already primed my eyes with a mac pro longwear paint pot and i've also just set it down with a translucent powder because this um, palette doesn't 
come with like a translucent sort of setting shade, like a bone or anything. Um, mm, what shall we use? I'm going to go into Gretchen first, which is like this sort of warm, medium brown color. This is one of the transition colors from the palette. Oh my gosh, you can smell it while you use it. Oh, it literally smells like vanilla frosting, like birthday cake. That's crazy. So I'm just softly blending that one through the crease there. Blending out really well. Um, I mean, it, it's it's doing what I need it to. Like, there's not really too much else to say as far as that goes. And because it is such a light color, you're not really going to be able to see too much on my skin tone anyway. You hear that buzzing noise? It's the builders again. I know, the ongoing builder saga. Construction workers, if you don't know what builders are. I don't really know what people call things in different countries. It always seems to be very different to what we do here in Australia, though. It's just like this constant hum. I think it's like machinery, but it seriously makes you want to bash your head against a brick wall. Like, it gets inside your soul and your brain and it takes over. Hopefully my microphone doesn't pick it up so that you guys don't end up going crazy as well. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to go into Rizzo, one of my favorite characters from Greece for sure, and pick up this brown here. Now this one's sort of like a demi, like a satin. Like it's not a shimmer, even though it looks shimmery in the pan. It's more of like a demi matte color. And I'm going to work that one through the crease as well to sort of further deepen that up. That's a pretty color as well. Oh, yes. Oh, smoking that one upwards and outwards. It's funny, when you pick that one up on your brush, it doesn't look like crazy pigmented. But then once it's blended out on the eye, you're like, whoa. There's a lot of shadow there. So definitely be sure to tap off the excess with these. I'm just going back in with that original brush and kind of like... Buffing that out a little bit more. Next up I'm taking I Can't Even, and this is like a rich sort of chocolatey deep brown. This one is a matte. And I'm going to layer that one really directly into the crease. See how that's created like an element of depth I'm in mean, comparison to this eye? Like it really sort of deepens it up. This one blends absolutely beautifully. Working that through. And then using circular motions in like an upwards and outwards sort of way just to buff that in. And then back in again with the original brush to soften everything again. This color here is so pretty. Like I feel like I really want to use this. I also really want to use this and this and this and this and this. And they're all just so pretty. These colors are actual liquid metals. Like they are foils. They're so pretty. I think I'm going to go with this one. My last eyeshadow look that I did with a palette in a review, I used bright colors. So let's try this shade. I'm going to take it on my finger and pack it on like this. Oh my gosh. I do not regret picking this one. A lot of fallout. Um, definitely bear that in mind. Like they're kind of like softly pressed glitter shadows like that's sort of how I would describe the formula of these oh my gosh but look at that it is so pretty but I do have quite a bit of fallout here as you can see but let's go over to the other eye and then apply it and then we'll blend so now I'm picking up a tiny bit of that shade on my blending brush and I'm just gonna softly blend out the edges of this oh it's such a pretty color oh my gosh chocolatey magic okay i'm just cleaning that up a little now for the lower lash line i'm going back in with gretchen did i just say ash line lash line <laughs> and i'm gonna rub that through there i love this matte brown formula really really soft um it's smooth really easy to blend like the I think that the formula, like the shadows that I've used so far, the formula of this is really nice. And then together with that, I'm taking a little bit of I Can't Even, which is like that richer sort of plum brown. And I'm kind of mixing the two together and blending them through the lower lash line. Sorry, my eyes are looking so bloodshot. I'm not kidding when I say I have been awake since like 4 a.m. The old eyes have cracked it because I'm tired. I had originally wanted to add some color into this look, but I love it so much that I kind of don't want to play around with it too much. Um, if it's okay with you guys, can we do a second tutorial um, playing with some of the brights out of this? Because I just, this smoky brown is everything. Like if I could have a little mini palette with this color, this color, this color, um, and this color, and this color, and this color, and this color, 
because why not? I would be the happiest person alive. I would use it every day. These are gorgeous. Ice Queen, look at Ice Queen. Like the formula of these, like Too Faced has done so well. So on a small brush, I'm gonna pick up Ooh La La. Now this is like a, like a double shadow. So and you can tell from when I've finger swatched them that I've just made a hot mess of them, but I'm gonna pick up this highlight type shade down here. I'm gonna pack it right on the inner corner. That one's not like crazy pigmented. It's more of like a satin, similar to that brown that we applied through the crease. It's not like a super foiled, like metallic formula, um, like some of the other shimmers. But you know what? Let's take this purple pixie and let's pat that on top and create like a purple inner eye. Oh, that's really soft. I'm also gonna pack on Ice Queen, like a tiny bit on top of that. Whoa. Okay, picks up a lot of product. Okay, I love that. And then finally to finish, um, I'm going to go back in with Ooh La La and highlight the brow bone. You could probably even use this one here, Pixie Dust, a little as well. Whoa, okay, Pixie Dust is really pigmented and not exactly a good brow bone highlight color. So, sorry. I'm just going to go with Ooh La La. That is a beautiful brow bone highlight. I'm not into like super like chunky kind of glittery like over the top um, brow bone highlights. Like I feel like they're quite aging and this one's really soft and smooth and like it still catches the light but it doesn't add texture to the skin. It's really pretty. So this is sort of like the finished eyeshadow look. Obviously um, it's a bit messy because I've got to do, you know, lashes, liner and all of that. I'm going to do that off camera though. But um, let me know what you guys think about doing a second look using some of the brights from this palette. Um, the formula is gorgeous so far. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see like a tutorial with that beautiful bright blue or the purple or the pinks. Um, yeah. I'd be happy to do it if you guys want to see it. I'd be totally happy to do it if you guys want to see it. But I'm going to go clean all of this mess up and finish the rest of my makeup. And then we'll be back to try the lipsticks. All right, guys. So I'm back and I've got the rest of my makeup on. And this is how the look finished up. I'm actually really, really happy with how this looks. Um, I love this sort of lilac blue kind of inner corner situation that we've got going on here. Um, It's definitely like a really safe way to wear color if you're looking for like a different kind of way to wear it as opposed to kind of slathering it all over your lids. Um, the browns are beautiful. They blended out absolutely amazingly. Um, the highlight shade of my brown bone, I think is gorgeous. Like overall, I think this is a a really nice palette super smooth super silky to work with pigmented blendable the mattes are gorgeous the shimmers are like crazy crazy pigmented they're like liquid metals um as far as whether or not i think that you actually 100 need this um really that depends on what palettes you already own like i showed you guys earlier there are a lot of shades in this palette um that are the same as the Too faced chocolate gold palette and probably if you've already got this one i personally wouldn't bother with this one but if you don't have this one and you're after a really good like well-rounded palette with bright and and purples and shimmers and mattes and just a whole stack of different colors um, then it's really really good quality um, you know the shadows are beautiful the pigments beautiful the colors are beautiful like it's a really really good palette on its own merit like 100% if you do want it and you do purchase it you're for sure gonna get your money's worth because they're gorgeous but yeah it just depends on what palettes you've already got um, obviously I'm not gonna be like definitely buy it if you've already got all these colors because that's kind of like a bit redundant and now we're gonna move on to the lipstick so I'm gonna quickly show you guys swatches of all of the colors on my arm um, so that you can see you know the colors and the texture and everything really nice and close up and then I'm going to apply one of them to my lips and we're going to see you know how the formula feels how it applies and things like that and I'm also going to be wearing it um, for the rest of the day just to see how it kind of feels whether it's like super drying or textured or it like goes all gross and you get that mangy line I hate that mangy line that you get like on the inner corner of your lip oh it's disgusting okay so now for the lipsticks this first one is this really pretty iridescent shimmering silver with kind of blue reflex through it then we have a pretty champagne then we have Gosh, I would call this like a cool tone, sort of pale brown, then a gorgeous sort of rich berry, then this amazing rich plum kind of color. This one's probably my favorite color. Really, really nice sort of light pink with a purple sort of reflect. Amazing hot pink. I want nail polish this color. This one is absolutely gorgeous. How amazing. Then we've got this rich red kind of shade really pretty as well. They've all got like a very subtle sort of shimmering iridescence, ir can't talk, iridescence to them. They're beautiful. Purple and then blue. Really vibrant, really pigmented, really creamy. Love. All right, so those are all of the swatches, guys. As you saw, 
um, Hello Pigment. They are extremely pigmented. They are extremely creamy and buttery. The formula just glides onto my skin. Um, some really interesting colors in there for sure. Like this vibrant purple, so cute. Um, some of the paler pinks are really, really pretty. I also did really, really love this gold one that I swatched first. You could definitely use this over any lipstick, um, you know, any color. And it would add like a really nice sort of shimmery top coat to it. Now they did feel really smooth on my arms. They did feel really comfortable. As you saw, you know, they, they swatched very easily, very creamy. I'm going to apply this one to my lips and actually feel what the texture of the lipstick feels like. A lot of concerns with glitter lipstick is it's going to feel like sandpaper, like because it's got like those tiny little particles of glitter. So yeah, this is the shade Hot Flash. Um, I nearly think this is my favorite. So let's go ahead and try the formula. They do smell really yummy. Oh, that color. Whoa, okay, so these are very pigmented. Even more so than I realized. Like in the arm swatches, it definitely looks too pigmented, but like this is another level. They're very soft. Um, the formula of these kind of feels similar to the Too Faced Natural Nudes collection. Like it feels more like a balm as opposed to like a full on lipstick. Absolutely love this color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna need to use a lip brush to touch up the edges. And neaten it up but the color oh I can't so I've just got the product on a brush now and I'm gonna try and sort of neaten it up I think it's always important to see how a lipstick performs on a brush as well as you know straight from the bullet um, personally I always apply my lipsticks with a brush and then I pack the actual lipstick to touch up not gonna lie guys that is probably one of the most comfortable glitter lipstick formulas that I have ever tried it's extremely balmy. It feels very, very hydrating on the lips. It feels soft. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, there's absolutely zero like sandpaper texture that I was talking about. Um, how gorgeous is this color? Look at it. I would say 100% if you are someone who loves these sort of multi-dimensional um, metallic type lipsticks um, and you know maybe even you've had troubles with other ones in the past. They've been kind of chunky. They've been drying. They've felt like textured like sandpaper. I think that you will absolutely love these. I feel like I'm wearing a lip balm, like legitimately, it does not feel like a lipstick at all. Not even like a regular satin lipstick, it feels like a lip balm. Whoa. I'm gonna continue wearing this, but as a first impression, gorgeous and definitely would recommend. So there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on the brand new Too Faced Birthday Collection. Um, you know, really beautiful, well-developed products, super high quality. Um, you know, I found them really easy to use. They were pigmented, they were creamy, they were buttery. Um, you know, great for beginners, great for people who are more advanced at makeup. They're really nice products. And like I said, it's just going to depend on whether or not you are into these kind of products. If you are, you know, needing a palette with all of those colors or you're interested in metallic lipsticks um, as to whether or not, you know, you're going to want to pick them up. Um, I personally would pay money for them, um, especially these lipsticks. And if you're looking to invest in only one of these lipsticks, this color that I've got on is insane. This is Hot Flash. I... It's, it's so pretty. I cannot deal. I'm, I'm going to wear this color on the weekend, actually. So yes, those are my thoughts on the collection, guys. I hope this video helped. I hope it helped to see swatches and, you know, how the products applied, um, you know, close up on camera so that you guys get a good idea on whether or not you want to pick them up or not. If you've got any more questions about anything at all, including anything from this collection or, um, you know, you want to clarify anything, please, as always, pop your comments in the comment section down below. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye!